Would you believe that there was one man on this planet who, if he was free, would mark the occasion, would mark the moment that humanity could stand up against tyranny and be free? And remember to gently kiss that like button unless you're afraid your computer has COVID. I just want to start today with a small experiment which everybody can do at home. And that is this. Go outside and walk around and just imagine all of the people that you see wearing masks. Imagine if they all suddenly got wiped out off the planet and all of those people wearing masks just disappeared. How many people would be left? Because that's going to give you a, a small idea of how many people will be left after this possibly mandatory Bill Gates Microsoft upgrade. You know what I'm talking about. The Axie. There is one man on this planet whose name I will mention in a second, who sacrificed more than we possibly know. There's more people alive today than there were in the times of biblical prophecy during the time of Jesus. So this man has sacrificed for more people than Jesus possibly ever did. I know, that's a crazy thing to say, but this is a crazy person crazy amazing and you need to know his name he put his life on the line for humanity a few years ago and to this day he's been tortured in prison for his attempts to help us escape plans which you would not believe that people have been drawing up you can imagine your life is pretty comfortable in a little fluffy cloud where you've been kept safe by your government and your TV and your job. So you have no idea as to the capabilities and the extent that some people go on the dark side to try to enslave us and to try to experiment on us and to get their way. We are indeed talking about one person very special called Julian Assange. That's right. He was the founder of WikiLeaks and he put his life on the line years ago to expose to us a deadly fraud which was occurring globally across the world and still happens until this day. It's an environmental tragedy beyond belief. It is what contributes to a huge chunk of global warming and it is what allows trees to literally blow up like a sparkler when ignited by a laser. If you don't believe we have that technology, I urge you to look it up right now to help you decide if it's true or not. Now I want to share with you a little bit about this person, so I'm going to play you a video clip right now which should explain who he is and what he's done for humanity. He was a person who was basically a whistleblower and he put himself on the line of fire, in the line of fire, for humanity, collecting and distributing information that not many people were able to get their hands on. However, this single person managed to be the world's worst nightmare for the deep state, cabal, Rockefeller system. Let's watch this video together about one of the worst weather engineering feats that you can imagine that has been pulled off already on humanity many years ago and is probably still happening today. Take a deep breath because this is unbelievable, but it is happening. Foreign relations and he omits to upper 
aerosol injection. Another example is the array of technologies, often referred to collectively as geoengineering, that potentially could help reverse the warming effects of global climate change. One that has gained my personal attention is stratospheric aerosol injection, or SAI, a method of seeding the stratosphere with particles that can help reflect the sun's heat in much the same way that volcanic eruptions do. An SAI program could limit global temperature increases, reducing some risks associated with higher temperatures and providing the world economy additional time to transition from fossil fuels. Okay, this was from three years ago, and what our old buddy John Brennan didn't point out is that this is nanoparticles of aluminum and barium, and while they will partially block out the sun's ultraviolet rays on a temporary basis, they will permanently fall down to the ground in these aluminum and barium heavy metals, not only a nanoparticle we be breathing in, but they will also absorb into the ground soil and the water that will come down and it will be on the ground causing global warming because the earth will be embedded with all these nanoparticles of aluminum. So what he's basically saying here is it'll help to cool down the planet and he's just lying through his teeth, but they are chemtrails and they will cause this planet to warm up over a period of time rather than cool down. But now with 5G in the game and AI advanced as far as it has in a nano aspect with nanotechnology, 5G, nanotechnology, AI working together in upper atmospheric injections for you to breathe in intelligent evil dust uh, scattered everywhere like like confetti in everything so I think it's increasingly hard for human beings to work out how to deal with that but right now we're gonna go take a listen to what came out of the Department of Defense the Pentagon and was leaked seven years ago excuse me on the left over here we have individuals who are religious fun fundamentalists, religious fanatics, and this is the expression, uh, RT-PCR, real-time PCR uh, expression of the VMAT2 gene. Over here, so we have individuals, in so, here, so, so let, let me complete. So over here, we have uh, individuals who are not particularly uh, fundamentalists, not particularly religious, and you can see there's a, a much reduced uh, expression of, of this particular gene, the, the VMAT2 uh, gene. Uh, another evidence that, that supports our, our hypothesis for the development of, of, of this um, approach. Uh, so what you, what you see here is by, by, by spreading this virus, we're going to eliminate individuals from donning on a bomb vest and going into a market and blowing up the market. So our, our hypothesis is that these are fanatical people, uh, that they have overexpression of the VMAT2 gene and that by vaccinating them against this, will eliminate this behavior. Would have the effect that you see here, which is it's essentially to turn a fanatic into a, a, a normal person. And nope. we think that will have major effects in the Middle East. How would you suggest that this is going to be dispersed in aerosol? Well, so, so the, the present uh, plan and the tests that we've done so far um, have used uh, uh, respiratory viruses, uh, such as flu or, or uh, rhinoviruses. And uh, we believe that that's a satisfactory way to get the exposure of the largest uh, part of the population. Most of us, of course, have, ha have been exposed to both of those viruses. What's the name of this proposal? Yeah, so, so the name of this project is FunVax, which is the vaccine for religious fundamentalism. And you have a proposal already? The proposal uh, has just been submitted. There it goes. Look at it. Now, don't you think it's really hard to believe something like that? Well, let's have a look at this film and find out. It doesn't look like much, but when it links up with the rest of its pals... get a little more interesting. The micro 
robots are controlled with this neurotransmitter. Now, does this technology already exist? Let's take a look. This is Robo B X Wing. It's got a wingspan of just three and a half centimeters, and it's about a quarter of the weight of a paperclip. At this scale, batteries are just too heavy to be carried on board, so the researchers use ultra lightweight solar cells. These generate power and send it to a control board that operates a pair of piezoelectric actuators, clever materials that work a bit like a muscle and contract when a voltage passes across them. By sticking two actuators together, they bend back and forth to flap the bot's wings. These seminal flights lasted for so why don't we see these in more wide use today, or are they just reserved for special people and the military industrial complex? And what are the true potential of these items? Are they being used today in perhaps covert hidden wars? What is the potential for humanity? And why are they being hidden? Why don't we see them? Why don't we hear them being spoken about? Yeah, something interesting is going on. And maybe they're just doing it in a different way with mosquitoes, for instance, and they're just not talking about it that much. Given that all this is possible today and possibly happening today, what do you think is going on that you don't know about in the world today? An interesting thought. Please spare a moment for Julian Assange and send him some good thoughts, send him some good vibes because he's already tried and thought a lot about killing himself according to his psychiatrist. So send him a thought and let him know that we thank him for his efforts to warn us about this technology and his dark side and its dark side potential. And next time you look up in the sky, just imagine, what is it that you're breathing in? With that, I wish you a good night's sleep. Thanks for listening. And if you like and endorse this message, please click the like button, share it with some of your other paranoid conspiracy theory friends like me. Thank you very much.